those who are still taking their coffee, kindly you enjoy your last sip because we are about to start. Thank you. Social Welfare and Development Secretary, Secretary Rodolfo. And of course, we have also with us Honorable Congresswoman Arlene Rosas of the Gobierno Partidist. Good morning, ma'am. to expand social protection for solo parents was approved by the Senate on its third and final reading and was passed into law on June 4, 2022 by virtue of the lapse 30-day period. This is a welcome reward to all the parents who take on the bigger and heavier roles of being both the mother and father to their children. They deserve all the support and assistance that our government and this society can give. And with this law we are about to implement is just one of our ways to show how we value and honor our solo parents who happen to be our silent warriors, our beloved protectors, our unsung heroes too. And today, we are finally sealing the deal with the implementing rules and regulations of RA-11861, ready for signing in just a short while. So, to get us all started, may we invite everyone to an invocation to be led by Mr. Samir Manzanilla. Please all rise. My heart is so proud 
My mind is so confused I see the things you do to me It's great things I have done And now you gently take me Then lovingly you take me And hold me as my father And mold me as my I ask you how many times will you pick me up? I keep on letting you down And each time I will fall short of your glory How far will forgiveness abound? And you answer my child, I love you And as long as you seek in my face you walk in the power of my daily sufficient grace. At times I may grow weak and feel a bit discouraged, knowing that someone somewhere to a better job for who am i to serve you i know i don't deserve you and that's the part that burns in my heart and keeps me hanging on i ask you how many times will you give me I keep letting you down And each time I will fall short of your glory How far will forgiveness abound And you answer my child, I love you And as long as you seek in my face You walk in the power of my daily sufficient grace As I walk with you, I'm learning what your grace really means. The price that I could never pay was paid at Calvary. So instead of trying to repay you, I'm learning to simply obey you by giving up my life to you for all that you've given to me i ask you how many times will you pick me up but i keep on letting you down and each time i will for sure of your glory how far will forgiveness abound and you want some As long as you seek in my face, you walk in the power of my daily sufficient Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
right, thank you very much, Mr. Samir Manzanilla. For the information of everyone, Mr. Samir is the Bruno Mars of the DSWD. At manager po niya ako kung may mga gusto magpabook. <laughs> but kidding aside, may I request everyone to kindly greet yung mga katabi po natin or kasama sa ating mga table. Ayan. So, a, a beautiful day again to everyone. And it is my privilege and honor to introduce to you our distinguished guest for this morning. Maraming maraming salamat po that despite of your busy schedules ay nakasama po namin kayo dito sa napakahalagang uh, event na ito sa aming kagawaran ang ating ceremonial signing of the Implementing Rules and Regulations of Republic Act 11861. So to begin with, um, may I uh, a round of applause po for Representative Anthony Rolando Goles Jr. on behalf of Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo. Thank you, sir, for coming. We also have with us Director Julieta G. Apostol on behalf of Senator Amy Marcos. Of course, we have our Gabriela Partilis Representative Congresswoman Arlene Brosas. And leading the team of the Department of Social Welfare and Development, no less than our Secretary, Secretary Erwin T. Tulfo. From the Department of the Interior and Local Government, we have with us Representative of uh, Secretary Benjamin Abalas Jr. Under Secretary Lord Villanueva. We also have with us from the Department of Labor and Employment, Under Secretary Felipe Egargo and Dr. Alvin Curada. Am I right, sir? From the Civil Service uh, Commission, we have with us um, Maricar uh, Cancinto uh, Flores Foronda and uh, Director Alma Karin Liz Zerga. Dito po ba sila? And from the Philippine Commission on Women, we have Executive Director, Attorney Christine Rosary E. Yuzon Chavez. From the Department of Budget and Management, we have Director Sofia Yanto Abad. And then we have a National Housing Authority. Uh, representatives, we have uh, Division Manager, Ms. Evangeline Avier, Ms. Rochelle Del Rosario, and Ms. Kimberly Tiburcio. We also have with us from the National Economic Development Authority, Undersecretary Carlos Bernardo Abad Santos. Then from the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, we also have with us Deputy Director General Tonisito Umali. From the Department of Trade and Industry, yan po ang isa sa masugid namin talagang partner, ano po, Assistant Secretary Anne-Claire Cabochan. From, uh, uh, from the PhilHealth, We have with us, I think we have under Secretary, if I'm not mistaken, can I have the exact name po ng ating USEC from uh, PhilHealth? And um, did I miss anyone po? Of course, we have our DSWD Executive Committee. Pwede po ba silang tumayo yung aming execom from the DSWD? Aming mga USEC and ASEC, maraming maraming salamat po. And the DSWD uh, Management Committee, maaari po ba silang tumayo? Ayan. Of course, we also have our partner from uh, DSWD Field Office 3. We have Assistant Regional Director Maribel Blanco. And from um, Field Health, we have... Uh, Attorney Eli Santos, OIC, OPCEO. Good morning, sir. From the Civil Service, we have Ator uh, Assistant Commissioner Karin Litz Zerna. Ayan. So later, yung iba po as they come, 
uh, we will also acknowledge them. Also with us today, yun nga po, as I have mentioned, our colleagues from the Department of Social Welfare and Development, yan po yung mga nasa likod at yung mga nag-asher po sa atin kanina at nandito sa aming production team. And all those who are with us virtually because we are live via the official DSWD Facebook page. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and ayan po, we also have uh, VP uh, Dogal Sim of the Land Bank of the Philippines, si Sir Do, andyan po. Thank you for coming, sir. Now, for his welcome message, may we call in the leader of the Department of Social Welfare and Development. A round of applause for Secretary Erwin T. Tulfo. Honorable Senator Risa Ontiveros, uh, or uh, her representative, Honorable Senator Bongo, or his representative, Honorable Senator Ramon Revilla Jr., his uh, representative, Honorable Senator Ami Marcos, her representative, and of course, Gabriela Women's Party List Representative Arlene Brosas, ma'am. Members of the Interagency Coordinating and Monitoring Committee, heads of representatives from different national government and local government units, members of the DSWD Executive and Management Committees, other guests who are here today to support one of our advocacies. Good morning. According to the study by the Department of Health in the University of the Philippines, funded by the World Health Organization, there are approximately 15 million solo parents in the Philippines today. Some of these solo fathers or mothers who are mostly breadwinners belong to the poor and marginalized sector. Most of them experience severe financial consequences, especially in securing food and basic necessities for them and their children. Some are struggling to send their children to school or to meet their health and other basic needs. We in the government cannot just close our eyes and let this over millions of poor solo parents in our country today to raise their child or children. And this law is the answer of those in power to help this one sector of our society to give their sons or daughters a better and brighter future. The department recognizes the urgency to take a step to end the uh, deplorable flight of our solo parents. We understand their hardships and the DSWD has been firm in supporting the expansion of the benefits of our solo parents. This is the reason why I ordered for the immediate crafting of the implementing rules and regulation of Republic Act 11861 or the Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. Today, I am honored to have all of you in this momentous event as we now sign the IRR of the, or of the law. Republic Act 11861, which amends Republic Act 8972, or the Solo Parents Welfare Act of 2000, promotes the rights of the solo parents and ensures that they can reap more exclusive benefits provided by the Philippine government. In crafting this IIR, the DSWD is the lead social protection agency ensure that solo parents or poor or not, or regardless of their income brackets, will receive adequate, comprehensive packages of social development and welfare services like counseling, legal assistance, and medical care, among others. With the help of other government agencies, we will also ensure that no solo parent will be discriminated in the workplace, 
and together with their children, they can have a better access to quality education. That is the purpose of this law. Solo parents whose income falls below the poverty threshold will receive additional fi financial assistance to ease burden of raising their child alone through their local government units. The DSWD hopes that the signing of this IRR is the start of a meaningful journey towards end enhancing the quality of life of all solo parents and their children. Our department, together with other government agencies, will ensure that every solo parent will be rich and will benefit from this law, starting after we sign it and at the end of October. Meanwhile, allow me now to thank our partners and the whole Interagency Coordinating and Monitoring Committee for your valuable inputs to the IRR that will enable solo parents to better access the social protection programs of our government. Let us therefore continue to work together to implement this law towards the goal of achieving a just and fair society for all Filipino solo parents. Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Thank you very much, Secretary Erwin T. Tulfo, for that uh, message. Ano po? So, na-emphasize po talaga the importance of the sectors of our society, which are our solo parents. Ano po? And this, is, this law is for them. Now, let us take you to a journey on the crafting of the implementing rules and regulations and to better understand about the salient features of Republic Act 11861 or the Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. Let us watch uh, this. The Senate approved on third and final reading on December 13, 2021, a bill seeking to expand social protection for solo parents. The Department of Social Welfare and Development, as the lead social protection agency, together with the Interagency Coordinating and Monitoring Committee, crafted the implementing rules and regulations of the expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act to ensure that solo parents, poor or not, or regardless of their income bracket, will receive adequate comprehensive packages of social development and welfare services. Authored by Senator Risa Ontiveros, Senator Richard Gordon, Senator Amy Marcus, Senator Bongo, Senator Tito Soto, Senator Juan Miguel Zubiri, and Senator Bong Revilla Jr. Total number of solo parent per region as of June 2022. Figures are based on the FO submitted reports of solo parents provided with assistance from April 2021 to June 2022. Salient Amendments of RA-11861 Passed into law on June 4, 2022 by virtue of lapse 30-day period Expands the legally recognized meaning of a single parent considering any legal guardian adoptive or foster parent who solely provides parental care and support to a child Included already the spouses of any family members of overseas Filipino workers who are in the low, semi-skilled category and are away from the Philippines for an unbroken period of 12 months. The amendment also includes grandparents and family members or qualified guardians who bear sole responsibility over the child. Salient Amendments of RA-11861 Provides the solo parent additional support 
as to work-related benefits. Non-discrimination against any solo parent employee with respect to terms and conditions of employment. Entitled to a forfeitable and non-cumulative parental leave of not more than seven days every year, in addition to leave privileges under existing laws. Salient Amendments of RA 11861 Solo Parent Additional Support As to educational benefits of the solo parent and their children, DepEd, CHED, and TESA to provide Scholarship programs for solo parents A full school scholarship for one child of a solo parent in institution of basic, higher, and technical vocational skills education. As to social safety assistance During disasters, calamities, pandemic, and other related health crises as may be declared by DOH, the solo parent and their children are entitled to social safety assistance such as food, medicines, and financial aid for domicile repair in the LGUs where they are residing. Mandated under this new law, the LGUs shall ensure that the budget for social safety assistance is included in the calamity fund of LGUs. As to the additional benefits, Entitle solo parents who earn minimum wage and below to additional financial support of as much as 1,000 pesos every month to be allocated by concerned LGUs. Grant solo parents who are earning less than 250,000 pesos a year a 10% discount and exemption from the value-added tax on various goods for children up to 6 years old. Interagency Coordinating and Monitoring Committee Chairperson, Secretary of Social Welfare and Development Vice Chairperson, Secretary of Interior and Local Government With the implementation of the expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act, more benefits for the welfare of the solo parents and their children will be upheld through the efforts of the government and its partners. Ipagpatuloy natin ang maagap at mapagkalinang serbisyo dahil bawat buhay, mahalaga sa DSWD. So that was the journey of the law and this implementing and its implementing rules and regulations. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, also with us this morning are the four federations of solo parents in the Philippines. Anjan po sila. Pwede po ba silang tumayo? I think they ano po sila? Yan. And then meron din po sa may bandang likod. Good morning and thank you. That uh, nakasama din po namin kayo. Dito because they have been with us from day one that we were crafting the implementing rules and regulations. Maraming maraming salamat po. At this point, may I have the honor to introduce to you our first keynote speaker who happens to be one of the authors of Republic Act 11861. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let us all welcome Senator uh, Ana Teresia Honteveros Baraquiel through a video recorded message. Maligayang araw sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat sa pag-imbita. Mga kasama, I'm overjoyed that we are finally approving the implementing rules and regulations of the expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. Ito ay isang batas na pinersonal ko talaga bilang isang proud solo parent. Marahil ang iba sa inyo, alam na ang kwento ko. Over 15 years ago, 
pumanaw ang aking asawa dahil sa heart attack. Bigla akong nabalo. Bigla akong naging breadwinner. Bigla akong mag-isa. Apat ang anak namin at ang bunso pa ay tatlong taong gulang lang. Alam na alam ko ang hirap, emosyonal man o pampinansyal ng pagiging solo parent. Kaya kung ano ang tuwa ng mga solo parents sa pagpasa ng batas na ito, gayon din po ang likaya ko. Napakaraming solo parents federations, organizations, mga workers groups, at mga individual ang kinonsulta ng opisina ko para siguraduhin na ang mga nakapaloob sa panukalang batas ay sinasalamin ang iba't ibang konteksto at karanasan ng mga solo parents. We really made sure that every solo parent's voice and story is heard in this legislation. Kaya mga kasama, hindi lang kaming mga sa kongreso ang may akda ng batas na ito. Kasama ang mismong mga solo parent sa pagsulat, pagbuo, pagsulo, pagkampanya at pagtagumpay ng Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. Panalo nating lahat ito, mga kasolo. Mabuhay po kayo. Maraming salamat po. And thank you very much, Senator Risa Honteveros. Now, let us also hear from one of the authors of Republic Act 11861, Senator Maria Imelda Josefa Remedios R. Marcos, or simply known as Senator Aimee Marcos. Um, to, to deliver her message, we have with us Director Julieta G. Apostol. Good morning po to all of us here, our distinguished representatives here present, the officials and staff of the Department of Development, and the officials and staff of some of our executive departments, fellow workers in government. And ito po ako para i-deliver sa inyo yung message ni Senator So I seek for the, indul the indulgence of the audience, I may not be able to deliver to you as passionately as you would. Uh, ngayong napipinto ang uh, implementasyon ng, ng Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act, lalo pang lalawak ang mga responsibilidad at trabaho ng DSWD, patay tayo dyan. Pero biro lang, totoong sa paghahatid ng ayuda sa ating mamamayan, DSWD ang laging inaasahan at maaasahan. Kahit na minsan ay pinagbibintangan, mabilis na nakakabawi naman. Dahil ito sa dedikasyon ng lahat ng mga taga DSWD. Talaga namang kahit anong dedikasyon ang ilaan natin sa ating trabaho, hindi tayo perfect. Para ding pagiging solo parent akya ay pagiging solo parent yan, nagkukulang din sa pondo, dipit sa oras, napapagod at napupundirin sa biglang dagsa ng mga responsibilidad at trabaho. Ngunit sa lubungin natin itong bagong batas ng buong puso, dahil sa seguridad hindi lamang para sa mga solo parents ngayon. Ito ay seguridad para sa bawat isa sa inyo at sa ating lahat. Alam ko ito dahil hindi ko inaasahan na minsan ay naranasan ko rin ang maging solo parent sa pagpapalaki sa aking tatlong anak na lalaki. Kahit anong estado mo sa buhay, hindi biro ang maging isang solo parent. Karamihan ay kababaihan na nagsisikap na ibalanse ang pagiging ina Guru, guidance counselor, ultimong breadwinner. Sa naiman o lubos na kinakaya nating mga kababaihan ang multitasking, dumarating ang panahon na nangangailangan din tayo ng tulong. 
Minsan pa nga, nakinera at labandera pa tayo. Minsan, nurse sa mga nagkakasakit na mga anak, kulang sa sustento na nanggagaling sa mga tatay. Ako po. Pero to be fair, huwag nating kalimutan na marami ding mga tatay ang nawala ng trabaho nitong panahon ng pandemya. Sa gulong ng buhay, ang mga nakalalakihan ay nagiging solo parents din at sakup rin sila ng bagong batas. Katili na rin ang mga kamag-anak o legal guardian na napaka-importante sa pagpapalaki sa mga bata, lalo na kung OFW ang mga magulang. Huwag po nating kalimutan, naging batas ang panukalang ito under the administration ng ating Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Madalas ay di maintindihan o ayaw lamang intindihin ng mga bulag sa kanyang kabutihang purus, puso sa masang Pilipino. Napaka-komprehensibo ng ating bagong batas, hindi lamang para sa kapakanan ng mga solo parents, kundi pati na rin sa physical at psychological na kalusugan ng mga batang inaalagaan. Pag-aalaga sa mga solo parents, babae man o lalaki, kamag-anak man o hindi, ay pag-aalaga sa kinabukasan ng ating kabataan at ng ating bansa. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat din po, Director Julieta Apostol. At this point, we will also hear from one of the proponents of the law, Senator Christopher Lawrence Bong, uh, go uh, to deliver the message on his behalf. May we call on Representative Anthony Rolando Goles Jr. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, uh, lalong lalo na kay Secretary Erwin Tulfo, Congresswoman Arlene Brosas, Director Apostol. Yusek Jericho Javier, Yusek Lord Villanueva, sa lahat po ng mga ahensya ng pamahalanan dirito po, magandang umaga. Praise be to God for blessing us today with His daily sufficient grace. Sabi nga nung uh, kanta kanina, napakaganda po. Um, ikinalulungkot ko lang po nga ang ating mahal na Senator Bongo na hindi po siya makakadalo ngayon dahil sa kanyang prior commitments bilang senador na kailangan, kailangan niya rin daluhan Hinihingi po niya ang inyong paumanhin at gusto po niyang makabawi sa inyo sa mga susunod na pagkakataon uh, bago po kami nagkita ni sa, sa Secretary Irwin Tulfo kanina uh, binibigay niya po ang uh, congratulations uh, congratulatory marks po sa buong DSWD at sa lahat ng ahensya regarding sa pagpirma nitong IRR. Ayaan niyo pong basahin ko ang uh, mensahe ng ating uh, senator. Let me start with this message. I am honored to be with you for the ceremonial signing of the implementing rules and regulations of the Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act of 2022, which grants additional benefits to our solo parents. This is a welcome forward or welcome step forward in acknowledging the important role of solo parents as breadwinners and caregivers to their families. Given these huge roles, it is only appropriate that the government provide them with the utmost support in order to live a comfortable life. Today, as I join you in the formal signing of the IRR, I acknowledge, commend, and thank all agencies and offices involved in the undertaking. Thank you for all your efforts to promote the welfare of, of our solo parents. Ang ating mga solo parents, alam ko po kung gaano kabigat ang inyong mga sakripisyo para, it, para maitaguyod ang inyong mga pamilya. Kaya naman po, umaasa po akong malaki ang tulong na maibibigay ng bago batas na ito sa inyong lahat upang mas mapabuti ang kapakanan ng inyong mga anak. Makakaasa din po kayo 
patuloy kong itataguyod ang inyong kapakanan at mga karapatan sa Senado, solo parents man, po kayong naituring, sinisigurado ko po kayong hindi kayo nag-iisa. Nandito ang gobyerno, laging nakaantabay po sa inyo. End of speech from Senator Bongo. Again, uh, mula po sa malasakit at bayanihan party list din po, maraming maraming salamat, mabuhay po kayo, God bless. Maraming salamat po, Representative Goles. And for our last keynote message, also one, the one who supported at the lower house itong magandang batas na ito, no less than the Gabriela Partilis, Representative Arlene D. Brosas. Good morning, magandang umaga po kay DSWD Secretary Erwin Tulfo, sa aking colleagues sa lower house, si Representative Anthony Goles, magandang umaga po. And of course, I would like to greet you mga close to my heart po dito sa DSW, no? DSWD no? family, si Undersecretary Nina Taduran, dahil nakasama ko po sa lower house, si... si Undersecretary Nina Taduran, and of course, Undersecretary Edu Punay. Yan po ang mga close sa aking puso dito sa uh, DSWD. And good morning po to all representatives from different offices and agencies. A pleasant morning to all. Hindi rin po magiging kumpleto kung hindi ko babatiin yung mga nakasama ko po sa 18th Congress uh, para ipanalo yung... Uh, batas na ito kasi kasama po natin dyan si Congresswoman Sheryl Deloso Montalia and of course si Congressman Lawrence Fortune. But now sila po ay, halimbawa si Congressman Lawrence Fortune ay Vice Mayor na sa uh, Agusan so um, malalayo na no, yung kanilang mga uh, iba na yung kanilang mga narating ngayon. Kaya po ngayon Ngayong umaga, magandang umaga po sa lahat ng narito, lalo na sa mga solo parents, federations, and organizations natin. Kanina narinig ko po yung mga nakasama. Every region po kasi nakasama natin sa mga konsultasyon nung nakaraan. Nais kong simulan ang mensahe ko sa mga salitang congratulations sa ating lahat. Palakpakan po ninyo ang inyong mga sarili. Sa walang sawa at walang kapagurang paglalabi at pagtataguyod para sa karapatan ng mga solo parents, mabuhay po tayong lahat dito. We recognize that solo parents are among the vulnerable members of our society. They singly bear the parental burden and have needs that vary from psychological and emotional to financial that the state must address. State and state intervention is necessary to assist solo parents in rearing their children and provide assistance and relief to them, such as access to quality education, adequate and proper health care services, and affordable and quality food, clothing, and medicines. Kaya naman po, inilaban talaga natin itong pagpasa ng expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. At isa po ang Gabriela Party List sa mga principal authors nito sa loob ng Kongreso. Noong 2007, 14th Congress pa, isinusulong ng Gabriela Party List ang pagpapalawig sa benepisyo para sa ating solo parents sa pag-file pa lang ni dating Representative Lisa Massa ng House Bill 2291. That was our first no, na final. Nagkaroon tayo ng forum, seminars, webinars at ng maraming konsultasyon kasama ang iba't ibang federasyon na nakasama din natin sa mga committee hearings at sa laban mismo doon sa loob ng kongreso. 
expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act will bring huge relief, especially for struggling solo mothers who comprise more than two-thirds of solo parents in the country. With the additional benefits provided under this measure, solo parents will at least mitigate the impact of rising prices, huge income losses, and a lack of state support. Nakasaad sa panukala ang 10% discount at VAT exemption. Uh, sa gatas. Yan. VAT exemption sa gatas. Sa diaper, sa gamot, at iba pang pangangailangan ng bata. Kasama rin rito ang 1,000 monthly cash subsidy para sa solo parents na inilaban nating magkaroon, magkaroon sana ng funding sa 2023 budget. Yan po kasi nilagay natin, ano, uh, ngayon dahil natapos na yung deliberation, uh, isa po yun sa mga amenda na sinusulong natin. And... Um, <clears throat> Gabriela Party List proposed a budgetary allocation of 3.1 excuse me 3.1 billion in the 2023 national budget under the LGU support to ensure funding for the 1000 monthly cash subsidy per solo parent who is earning a minimum wage and below as stated under section 15 letter A of the Republic Act number 8972 as amended by Republic Act Number 11861 or the Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. Malaking alwan ang mga dagdag beneficyong na ipagtagumpay natin, lalo't walang ampat ang sirit ng presyo ng mga bilihin at malaganap ang kawalan ng trabaho. Positibo rin na napalawig ang definition ng solo parent para isama maging ang legal guardian at kamag-anak na solong nag-aaruga sa mga bata. It is a victory that solo parents, regardless of their employment status, are entitled to seven days of non-cumulative parental leave with pay. Sa dating batas, kailangan nakapag-render ka muna ng at least one year sa trabaho. Ngayon, kahit six months ka pa lang sa trabaho, ay entitled ka na sa parental leave. Mahabang laban ang tinahak at ngayon umabot na tayo sa tagumpay na pagsasabatas ng panukala hanggang sa pagkakaroon ng implementing rules and regulations. Napakalaking tagumpay nito na nakamit natin. Of course, hindi naman dito natatapos ang ating laban. We will ensure that the law will be properly implemented and that each solo parent will receive the benefits under the law. Muli, binabati ko po kayong lahat Congratulations, lalo na sa ating mga solo parents. Mabuhay kayo at maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Representative Arlene Brosas of the Gabriela Party List. So now let us proceed to the main part of our program, the moment we've been waiting for, Ikanga. The ceremonial signing of the implementing rules and regulations of the Republic Act 11861, also known as the Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. At this point, may we request our dear principals to please proceed to the presidential table uh, with your designated seats. Uh, of course, may we call on the members of the Interagency inter Coordinating and Monitoring Committee or the EAC-MC, starting with our Secretary, Secretary Erwin Titulfo, our representative from the Department of the Interior and Local Government, from the Department of Health, from the Department of Labor and Employment, the Civil Service Commission, the Philippine Commission on Women, Department of Budget and Management, National Housing Authority, National Economic Development Authority, Department of Finance, Bureau of Internal Revenue, Department of Education, Commission on Higher Education, Technical Education and Skills Development Authority. A good morning po, Director General, uh, Deputy Director General Tonisito Umali. 
And of course, from the Department of Trade and Industry, our representative, and from the Department of Justice, from the Department of Migrant Workers, from the Field Health, from the Union of Local Authorities of the Philippines, ayan po, iniimbitahan namin kayo dito po sa harapan for the signing of the implementing rules and regulations. You may now sign po the implementing mm -hmm. rules and regulations. sure lang po na nasign natin ang um, uh, lahat ng copies of the implementing rules and regulations. Medyo matagal na tagal na pirmahan po yan. <laughs>
Ayan. Now that all documents are signed, may we request our principals to stand up and to raise the signed implementing rules and regulations of RA 11861. May we also call upstage our representatives, um, Representative Arlene Brosas, Director Julieta, um, sorry ma'am, <laughs> Apostol, and of course Rep. Goles to join our principals upstage po. Rep. Arlene, Director Apostol, and Rep. Goles, kindly join po our principals. Next, requesting also the other members of the Interagency Committee and Monitoring Board. Ano po? Pwede po ba silang umakyat pa dito? Yung iba pa pong members ng IAC mc To join our principals. Apa. Yusek Jericho. Pwede po ba kayong umakyat dito? Requesting as well, Asek Kabochan and DDG Umalipo to join us upstairs for the photo opportunity. Paki. Sorry, ma'am. Requesting as well, our consultant, Attorney Minerva Ambrosio. Ayan, maraming maraming salama po. Muli, a round of applause for everyone, for all the efforts and hard work to have this implementing rules and regulations of Republic Act 11861. Thank you, Pa. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Sige po, kindly settle down na po as we move on to the second to the last part of our program. Thank you again. Before we move on to the last part of our program, may we take this opportunity to recognize the support and dedication given and extended by the Interagency Coordinating and Monitoring Committee. Thus, we present and award these certificates of appreciation for sharing your technical expertise and invaluable input 
as members of the technical working group in the crafting of the implementing rules and regulations of Republic Act Number 11861, also known as the Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. He given this 29th day of September 2022 at the Manila Diamond Hotel, Ross Boulevard, corner Dr. J. Quinto Street, Manila. Please come forward to receive your certificates of appreciation as we call uh, you. Ano po yung inyong mga offices. But of course, we would like to start with our consultant, Attorney Minerva Ambrosio. Requesting po our secretary and undersecretary Jericho Javier to join Attorney Minerva uh, uh, upstage po. Attorney Minerva Ambrosio, palakpakan po natin si Attorney Ambrosio for her support in crafting this IRR. Yes, stay lang po dyan, Secretary and Yusek Javier. Of course, the technical working group members from the Department of Social Welfare and Development, May I call on our representative from the Policy Development and Planning Bureau. PDPB, ayan, si Ma'am Victoria to accept our Certificate of Appreciation. Ayan. Calling also our representative from the Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program National Program Management Office, Director Gemma B. Gabuya. Also, calling on our representative from the legal service, Attorney Megan Theris Manahan. We also have with us from the Standards Bureau, Dr. Just, uh, Attorney Justin Batokabe. Calling on also our representative from the Sustainable Livelihood Program, National Program Management Office, Sir Joseph Lagman. Of course, we also have from the Department Legislative Liaison Office, Ms. Cheryl Munoz. Like Erwin and Yusek Jericho, stay lang po. <laughs> Next po are our members from the Interagency Technical Working Group. To start off, may we call on our representative from the Department of the Interior and Local Government.
Bien. Maganda na rin po. Next po, we have from the Department of Labor and Employment. Dole. Sir? In Department of Finance, Representative, palakpakan po natin si Ma. Yan, mga nakasama po namin sa pagbuno nitong implementing rules and regulations. From the Department of Budget and Management, Department, um, Department of Trade and Industry. Next, we have from the Civil Service Commission. Philippine Commission on Women. Next, from the National Economic and Development Authority, NEDA. Then from the Civil Service Commission, calling also our representative from the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, DDG Umalipo. Calling also our representative from the Bureau of Internal Revenue or BIR. Ma'am? Meron pa. BIR. Thank you, Paul. Next, our representative from the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation or the PhilHealth. Sir? Next, our representative from the Union of Local Authorities of the Philippines or ULAP. Palakta ka naman po dyan. Okay. 
Okay, starting off from the Federation or Organization of Our Solo Parents, calling on the National Council for Solo Parents. Led by Sir Ren. Next po, our Solo Parents Federation, uh, Luz Vimin. Solo Parents Federation of Luz Vimin. Next, the Solo Parents Association of Kabuyao Incorporated. Next, kasama rin po namin bumalangkas ang Gabriela Women's Party List. Um. <laughs> Ay po ulit. <laughs> kasama po namin sila sa aming public consultation. Ayan, tinatawagan po namin ulit ang aming representative from the Department of Budget and Management. Thank you, ma'am. Next, we have representative from the local government unit of Marikina City. From day one, kasama rin po namin sila sa pag-craft ng implementing rules and regulations. Next, we have, last but not the least, from the office of Senator Risa Hontiveros. Ma'am. Ayan. Saan na po ata si Sir? Ah, okay na po, Sec. Maraming maraming salamat po, Secretary Tulfo and you, Sec Javier. Again, congratulations and thank you very much to all of you. You, Sec, baka hindi na po kayo kailang umupo. <laughs> Sec and Yusek, uh, isang request pa daw po, Anjan ay kasama natin from NHA po. Sec Erwin and Yusek Jericho, mahirap po talaga pag-artistahin po tayo. 
Our representative from NHA. Ayan, maraming salamat po, Secretary Erwin, NHA. And to officially end our program, hindi ko na po pababain, we would like to call on the DSWD Operations Group under Secretary Jericho Francis Javier. Good morning ulit sa ating lahat. Uh, hindi ko na siguro pahabain. Uh, we thank all the of the implementing partners present here today for your invaluable contribution and support for the finalization of these implementing rules and regulations. Let us advocate and support solo parents in the workplace. Ensure that workplaces are solo parent-friendly, back with agency policies that will make sure the protection and promotion of the rights of solo parents. We also call on our partners especially the local government units, to ensure that there is a solo parent office in every city or province and a solo parent division attached to the municipal social welfare office in every municipality. More importantly, ensure that there are dedicated registered social workers in the LGUs who will implement the programs and services for the solo parents. We also call on our LGU partners and the DILG to immediately work out the establishment of localized solo parents that database that will be consolidated at the national level. We acknowledge the difficulties that each and solo parent endures. Being a single parent is a twice the work, twice the stress, and twice the tears. But with this IRR, we envision that it, that it will be twice the hugs, twice the love, and twice the pride. Muli, mabuhay po tayo lahat, mabuhay ang mga solo parents. Yan, muli, maraming salamat po sa inyo, Undersecretary Jericho Francis Javier of the DSWD Operations Group. With the enactment of RA 11861 and the signing of its implementing rules and regulations, our solo parents and their children alike can now experience renewed additional support that they truly deserve. Before we end our program, may we inform our friends from the media that we are opening the floor for your questions to our principals in a few minutes. Again, this is Assist OIC Assistant Bureau Director Miramel Garcia Laxa. Thanking everyone for sharing your time and witnessing this momentous event. Have a great day and please keep safe. Meron din po tayong um, food, ano po, snacks, dyan po sa ating buffet table later. And the press conference will follow shortly. At this point, we would like to invite again our principals, the members of the IAC MC dito po sa stage. Um, Secretary Tulfo and the rest of the team na nandito po kanina for our press conference. But before that, sige po, akit na po tayo dito and requesting our Execom as well, the DSWD Execom for some photo opportunity with the IAC MC members. Sige po, akit na po dito sa stage. And the DSWD Execom requesting you po to also join the members of the IAC MC Sige po, tinatawagan po ulit dito sa stage ang members ng IAC MC, ang ating um, DSWD, DILG, the Department of Health, the Department of Labor and Employment, our um, Civil Service Commission, Philippine Commission on Women, Department of Budget and Management, National Housing Authority, National Economic Development Authority, Department of Finance, Bureau